Okay, what we're going to do today is show you how to uh, lubricate your uh, throttle cables on a 2013 Harley Davidson Softail Deluxe. Uh, first thing we got to do is we got to pull these boots off. Then we take three eighths inch wrench. We break the uh, locking nut. I've already done it actually. Break the locking nut loose. Roll this backwards. You're going to notice your throttle will begin sticking. See, it won't it won't pop back into place. See that? If you loosen it. See? So as you roll it clockwise, your throttle will pop back. It's your return. If you roll it counterclockwise, it'll get start getting real tight on you to the point where you can barely turn your throttle. So in order to lubricate both these cables, you can't get this off because it only goes so far before that cable is too tight in there and you don't have access to get your lubrication in there. So you've got to at that point take your uh, throttle body housing off to uh, uh, take it off the cable off the throttle so that you can get this off to get your lubrication in. So the next thing we're going to do is, well I'm going to roll this back clockwise again until it's at its uh, most loose position where the throttle will actually pop back and then we're going to take the body off, the, the throttle body off. There's two, uh, there's two Torx wrenches for it. They're both T25s. One's right up here at the very top. And the other one's underneath the, the, the bottom under here. And we just take those, those screws out. Bottom one's out, top one's still in there. And then you just kind of roll that off and there's your uh, throttle body housing right there. Okay, once you get the housing off, you're going to have to take this front one now and you're going to have to roll it all the way forward which will be uh, clockwise. The reason why is we've got to loosen this cable. Both these cables have to come out. And the reason you have to loosen this one is to get it to roll far enough forward so you can get the back one which tightens your throttles, your return, off. You don't have to take that one out though. So get it to that point and then you take your throttle return and you roll it, your lock nut, as far forward towards the cable as you can, and the adjustment as well. And then what we need to do is we need to pull this lower housing down a little bit so we can get the grip to where it actually comes out. We're going to roll that forward at the same time. I'm really trying to do this so I can get my finger in here and you can see it on the camera. You're going to kind of hold that cable so, so it rolls that out, that barrel out. You're going to pull that barrel out. Look, now this, it's got a notch in it, so you twist it. Hope you can see this. It's hard with the camera to try to get video of it. You roll the barrel 180 degrees and it comes off, and that's what you got to get off. Now the reason we had to do that, like I said before, is because you can only back this off so far before your throttle gets tight, because what it does, it pulls, um, it pulls this ball and it, your throttle will stop so you had to get that all loose so now we can back this up all the way until it comes off like that and we can get our uh, lubricant down in there now if you look up here see your ball has slid all the way down inside of it and without taking um, the, the housing off there'd be no way to get this loose down below to get the uh, lubricant in it all right so we got them both loose uh, we're going to use a uh, cable live I've got another video on a street glide, how to uh, lubricate your clutch cable. Um, we're going to use the same thing. Um, I don't like the uh, barrel that comes with it. I like to do it this way. It's a lot easier because you can just stick that little, uh, you stick that tube down inside of your cable. If you just take a shop towel, you hold it around there real tight and uh, you use its three second blast. So one, two, three. And you can, you can feel the, the, uh, lubrication going down through that cable too. Then we're going to do the same thing on the uh, throttle return. Stick that, that in there. And the reason we're, we're wrapping it with the towel is just because uh, we don't want that oil dripping down on the bike. You can uh, seal it off with, by, by holding it real tight right around the opening there. So one, two, three. There we go. And it also helps uh, from the mess that it can make as well. Very good, pull it out and there your uh, cables are lubricated. Okay, so now that the lubrication itself is done, uh, we gotta get this th whole thing back together. So we can just roll that on a little bit and 
the back one for the uh, throttle return. We're going to roll that clockwise all the way up as far as it can possibly go because we need we need that uh, cable to come back up so we can get it back on the throttle. Even once you roll that up, the little ball might be down in there, so you can grab take a pair of long nose pliers. Kind of, it's going to be real hard to get this on video. Kind of reach down in there and pull your cable back out. That's all you do for that. The uh, little ball there can get some oxidation on it because of the material it's made of. So I'm just going to squirt a little bit of the cable loop inside of the, uh, the that little brass barrel. That'll just help it go on easier and also uh, allow it to, it'll lubricate it. You can you know, dab some on that uh, that head as well. All right, so we're going to try to try to get this where you can see it again. Got to pull that cable up, hold the cable here. Um, so there's a notch, so you're going to set that on there. And since we oiled it, it turns easier. You just turn it all the way to the other side like that before you get it, put it back on. Then what you do is you pull this down because you got to get your, your your cable back, your uh, throttle back in there. You turn your throttle. Stick that in there. Roll it forward and pull this up at the same time until it pops into place. And then you got it, you got it on. And if you come to the round to the other side, you'll see that's in, in line with there's a little notch there that the cable rides in, and that's what you where you want it to set. All right, now when you when you've done this, you you're, you're gonna have moved this around quite a bit. If you look there, there's a little notch. So you need to make sure that this little nipple goes into that notch. You may have to roll it up. And then what you do is you take your housing, roll your housing on while you're holding this up from the back because you don't want that thing to come out of the notch. And then get a wrench on it and start tightening it. So I got that on there. I grabbed a wrench real quick just to show you. And get that top one on first just by finger tight so that it won't move on you and you know it's set in there and that's what holds it into place the whole housing and then you can put the bottom screw in all right so I got them both in we're just going to tighten them up I don't want to spend a lot of time showing you how to tighten bolts okay good on the stock cover it's an eight millimeter allen wrench And then we got to take these three off to get the filter off, air filter. The T27 Torx. So pull that off. And we do use K&N filters, rechargeable filters. So this is actually a good time, since you've got it off, to go through the cleaning process and recharge your filter. And you can do this during, when you do an oil change too, which we're going to do. And if you uh, want a link to that, i got a link to a uh, uh, these filters which is a pretty good discount on my website and you can buy that for uh, about sixty dollars and it's got a lifetime warranty this is your butterfly valve and this is what we're trying to get to the reason we're, we're trying to get to it is because when you roll on the throttle like right there I'm at full throttle the way the way it's adjusted right now when I put it back together full throttle that butterfly valve should be uh, 90 degrees to the uh, opening itself so it's got to it's actually got to come down some so we're going to adjust that now okay so if you come under here like way up under here and you turn the throttle you're going to see that little silver arm now up in there there's a mechanical stop and what you're going to do is you're going to adjust this cable by when you roll it in it's going to going to allow that mechanical stop to go higher which also opens your butterfly valve more you're going to want to roll it your cable clockwise until at full throttle that mechanical stop hits and you'll feel it too and your butterfly valve is at 90 degrees so we're going to go ahead and roll it. Let me get back up here. I know it's a lot of jumping around. I want to show you all the places. We're going to turn it clockwise. And then we're going to feel it. You come down here then. 
you'll look. Let me get some light in a different direction here. There we go. Right there. And you'll see it's still not there yet. And I'm sorry, I actually messed up. You roll it counterclockwise, your cable. So I did, and you can see it's closer now. Now if I roll it clockwise, see it stops too soon. So we roll it back. Now we're getting closer. There we go, we're getting even closer. Get the light in here better. There we go. Now you're getting real close. It's just about there. There it is, it's touching. And all I was doing is rolling this back and forth. So now if we come to our butterfly valve, you'll see it stops at full throttle in a 90 degree position. And that's your, uh, your, your uh, throttle is somewhat adjusted at this point. Okay, so then we're gonna tighten it. You take your locking nut, roll it up. Put your 3 8 back on there and tighten it. Okay, there's that part done. As you can see right now, it's, it returns pretty easily. And it doesn't really matter at this point how tight it is or how loose it is. You're still getting the same throttle action. Now, the reason why we are concerned here is because if you turn your handlebars, what it does is it, it, str it stretches, it puts the cable on different position. So let's turn the handlebars all the way over. Now, if this thing is rolled all the way out, see, it doesn't, it doesn't recoil back. So you get the handlebars in the right most position. And then come around the other side. Go. And then you're going to start rolling this thing forward. Now, as you can see the throttle, it's beginning to recoil. So if you go counterclockwise with it, you'll see your throttle sticks again. You can actually l do it like this and loosen it. So what you're trying to do is get this thing to return all the way, but not not too much because you'll have too much play in it. You want about an eighth of an inch. Something else you want to look for is it's also the stop for this thing coming forwards, for your uh, throttle to come forwards. So if I roll this thing all the way up, for instance, okay, it snaps back. But if you watch, I can roll that thing forward and throttle will actually stick in a forward position. And you don't want that either. It's not that it's going to be dangerous, but, um, but since that cable comes around the back, it keeps it from, from uh, going too far forward. So you don't want that either. So we're going to have to back it off to a median point to where it keeps the throttle from being able to roll forward and sticking, but it also snaps back when you let off. So you see there, it's, uh, it's not able to roll forward. And now I've got a little too tight. It's not snapping back as good as I, I want. There we go. It won't go forwards and it snaps back. So that's a good position to be in right there. And then we'll tighten it up. Um, we're going to turn the handlebars back to a normal position when the, bark's when the bike's parked. Check your throttle, it works great. It doesn't get stuck forwards and now we can tighten it. Go. Slide your boots back on. And you've now lubricated your uh, throttle cables and you'll, you'll notice the difference. It just uh, seems to roll a lot smoother now. Once you get your throttle adjusted, we got to put the K&M filter back on. So get your vacuum lines put, put on there. If you put them on the filter first, it makes it easier. And then just slide it on. Then put your filter on. Then just tighten that up. All right, so we're just tightening it up now. Put 
cover back on. That's all there is to it. At that point, you're done. You've got good throttle action. It's smooth, it's lubricated, and uh, you've saved yourself uh, quite a few dollars of having to take it in and have somebody do that for you. So I hope that helps and uh, gets you down the road a little bit more on maintenance. Uh, for more videos, uh, subscribe to my channel, and also go to uh, rumlingrider.com.